Io sono Delfina. Oggi facciamo il fieno di Galipina. Delfina and her friend Maria Luisa live in Canapina, Lazio, where cooks make fieno de canapina, a delicious tangle of tagliolini style pasta, pecorino cheese, and ragù. Delfina first makes the dough. She uses 600 grams of zero zero flour and six eggs. So sei, ma so quattro. Mm-hmm. So sei, ma so quattro. So de copia. <laughs> The large fork is just because Delfina enjoys making large quantities of dough. She gradually mixes in the flour and kneads the dough until it is smooth. Faccio docetti, docetti, fatti con le nocche, che dopo mo quando non arrivi ve li regalo. Hai capito? Solamente per il pasto da da morire. This has to rest covered for at least 30 minutes. The vegetables for the ragu come from Delfina's garden. Maria Luisa slices up celery, carrot and onion and then blitzes them with a big glug of olive oil to form a rough paste. She adds some white wine to the mixture. As is typical for this area of Lazio, there is a mixture of meats in the ragu, including pork ribs, beef steak, mince and sausages. Più metti, più trovi. She crumbles the mince and sausage meat into the vegetable puree. She adds the meat and a little bit of peperoncino. Peperoncino, peperoncino. There's over two kilos of meat going into this ragu. Adesso mettiamo un po' di vino e lo lasciamo evaporare. Maria Luisa adds some more wine, which she leaves to evaporate. Meanwhile, Delfina breaks up some whole tin tomatoes. These are always better quality than ready crushed tomatoes. Questa è la maggiorana. Delfina adds some marjoram to the meat and then Maria Luisa adds the tomatoes. Buono. Bollire piano piano. This has to simmer gently for five hours. Delfina rolls out her dough, keeping it well floured. She smooths and stretches the dough while it's wrapped around her rolling pin. Then turns the pin 90 degrees as she unrolls the pasta. This keeps the pasta sheet even. Once it's large enough, she allows the sfoglia to drape over the edge of the board to help stretch it further. Delfina rolls it up and then, with a sharp knife, shaves really thin ribbons the village calls hay or fieno in Italian. They're similar to tagliarine, found in Piemonte. Little leftover bits are used in soup. The next step is unusual. Delfina measures out the pasta into a sieve and dumps each portion onto a piece of kitchen towel. The pasta has to dry like this for a day. This step firms up the strands and stops them from being too mushy when cooked. Delfina made some yesterday, which are ready for boiling in salted water. They only need about 30 seconds cooking. Maria Luisa spreads them onto a flax cloth to absorb excess water. She sprinkles grated pecorino cheese over a platter, followed by some of the meaty tomato sauce. She piles on the pasta and mixes it in, repeating the layer once more. E perché raccoglie meno meglio il sugo così, perché la pasta è talmente sottile. The pieces of meat are kept for the main course. Il piatto, il piatto è pronto, è pronto. Buon, buon appetito. This is a wonderfully savory tangled heap of pasta. 
Buon appetito! Buono? Buono, molto. Good, good. Dice. Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.